Hello everybody, I hope you are well today. I thought we would take a walk through an oracle deck. This one is by Rebecca Campbell and the artwork is by Danielle Noel. Work your light, a very high vibrational oracle card deck that I'm sure many of you have seen. And we're gonna go on an Imrama and this is a journey and where are you being called to? Well today we are being called to journey through this oracle deck and these beautiful images. So we need to ground and protect and especially if you're an empath and you're highly sensitive so it's telling us to connect with nature. So I'm going to randomly choose one of these poems. That one is sticking to my finger and it is the willow tree, the sail. So let's start by just growing those roots down out of your body and down past your hips and knees and to your feet and into the ground below you. Downwards and downwards and downwards they travel into the crystal and mineral pools of the inner earth, into the celestite. into the Caribbean calcites. And you may instinctively be seeing other crystals and that is absolutely fine. Into the rhodonites. And into the angel aura quartzes. And I think we'll put in a bit of clear quartz for good measure and we'll also put in a bit of smoky quartz for cleansing and protecting. Okay, alright, so now that we have grounded let's just think of that willow tree. The willow has decided to cry the tears for you all, a bit like the goddess Guan Yin. And she does bring happiness as well and dreams and helps with meditation. So I'm just gonna draw that down you. I'm gonna draw sail, 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 and sail. And imprinting that Celtic Reiki Om symbol into you now and my other hand is behind you and drawing it down again through you and all the way out to infinity and you can also imagine those branches and twigs reaching upwards okay into the spiritual realms Okay, so now we need to bring in our protection and call your power back to yourself. But before we do that, we are going to call in our soul family or our monad. So I just want you to mentally call in your soul family. Some of them you'll know, some of them you won't know. And because we have protected and we come in light and love, they will come and help you now and you may feel an energy shift as that happens. So let's just bring ourselves back to cutting cords and I'm just going to use some selenite. We do have the chimes here which I will use in a bit just going to brush you down with the feather and this 
is an angel crystal that was given to me, this piece of selenite at my an angel Reiki attunement. So I'm going to use these in tandem. Just feel that brushing things out of your aura. And as I sweep down with the selenite, I'll just move it a little bit away and brushing with both of those, cutting those cords that you do not need, cutting those soul contracts you may have made in this and in past lives. Cutting at the heart, at the solar plexus and the throat mainly. And we just brush them away with the feathers and we ask your soul family, your monad, to help with that. Okay, let's just pop that there if we need it again. And we will just rub this smoky quartz over the aura. And I've just realized that the clock is here and some of you don't like it. So I'm just going to move that away. Okay, clearing, cleansing and just absorbing all of that negative energy into there. We'll leave that there. Okay. Now we will call in the Council of Light to work with your soul family the divine orchestration of the helpers and the angels in the subtle realms. And we have all of these beautiful angel crystals here. I'm just going to bring the first one out and we'll call in Archangel Michael to come and place his protection blue robe around you and help you. Just, we have all these other 13 or so archangels here and you can check out the colors and see which ones you are absorbed to and I think we'll, we'll just scatter these around to bring peace, healing, comfort, love, courage and strength in. Okay, and we'll now get some oil. And I've mixed this up. It's a very high vibrational oil. It is made out of tangerine, jasmine, magnolia, and frankincense. Just breathe that in and let it lift you up. Feel the tingles of the high vibrational oils. And know that you are loved by your monad, your soul family, and also those angels and the council of light, the Ein Sof and the Ein Sof Er. Okay, so now I would like you just to enter your heart. Go feel yourself entering your heart, which is your inner temple, giving devotion and tuning in to the potential of your heart. So just imagine walking through a beautiful lotus of the heart and into yourself. And you are a universe in yourself, aren't you? See yourself walking through pillars of light and energy and your vibration is rising and you know that you have the potential and the love and that God spark within you. So just walking through these pillars of light now and feel the shift as you do that, okay. All right, I'm gonna move those up and away from you. Now, 
be brave, take that leap if you don't go in, the universe will catch you. And remember you have these angels and the soul family around you. And I'm just going to ask them now to place their healing hands on your shoulders as I draw in the Reiki symbols. And I've got them here to show you somewhere. Okay, and we are going to use the Merkafa Kalishma. So I'm just drawing this now. Merkafa Kalishma. And this brings in the divine feminine and unites all the parts of your body and gives a universal lesson of love to you. And we'll just place that there and focus on the rhodonite for love. If you are lacking in self-love, just focus on that. Take that leap into the acacia. You are divinely guided. And I want you just to see a beautiful stairway now in front of you leading from that temple of your soul upwards a beautiful crystal stairway made out of this gorgeous selenite and I just want you to walk up the first step and the second step and the third step and the fourth step and the fifth step, and the sixth step, and the seventh step, where you come to an area of divine heavenly pools. And as you look in to the still waters, I want you to see your own true reflection and just see how beautiful you really are. And you may be surprised by what you see. You may not be yourself. You are looking at your true self here. And breathe in love and breathe out gratitude. And look how beautiful you really are. And just sit by this healing pool for a while and you may even realize that you are a star seed. What lights you up? If you are a star seed and you look up into the night sky or you read the, the law on the planets, which one excites you? The Plagaria, the Pleiades, the Sirius, the Orion Nebula, or maybe Andromeda, Andromeda energies. And there are many beneficial outside forces that can help you. I myself work with the Syrians and the Plagarians, and they have come into healings before when I have been healed. And you may notice these as blue. Some are tall, some are short. They kind of look like they kind of look like teletubbies. And if you have a longing to go back to your planet, just tap into the energy now as you look into the waters. And there is also the Mintakan energies. And look at the beautiful blue. Just lose yourself. What blue are you drawn to? Are you drawn to the deeper blues of the third eye and the brow chakras? Or are you drawn to the lighter blues to open up the throat, speak your truth? And indeed, you can use those blues at any other part of your body. 
if your emotions need opening up your sacral you can use the lapis lazuli at that energy center okay so belong feel your soul family around you giving the love enfolding you in their loving light the plagiarians the syrians whoever you are from they are cheering you on they are supporting you and they bring that energy of those star systems with them and just relax by this pool now as your guides take you forward in your mind to when the star seeds peopled the earth the light beings of lemuria creating heaven on this planet as a school for us all to learn. Great gathering of souls from the universe all coming to learn the lessons and learn it time and time again. If you were meant to learn a lesson in this life and you didn't, you'll get another chance. Everything is coming together you are watching this video because you will it to come together and as we are here now in our timeline many years forward from Lemuria we are now realizing that we are the keepers of the earth the ancestors stand beside you they are willing you to do your bit for the earth whether that is the recycling in your own home activation planting up your gardens being kind and looking after animals and don't forget people are animals too we also need to care for our fellow humans okay just breathe in that healing that we're channeling now peace healing comfort and tranquility knowledge inspiration and most importantly the love okay so as you lie by this lake a beautiful woman manifests in front of you, one of the priestesses of this place, and she may indeed be part of you or your soul group. And she will give you a blessing now. She comes from the Sisterhood of the Rose offering beauty and devotion and as a mystic teacher she may be the one who guides you on your path and is that inner voice and she can help with your transformation so tell her now at a cellular level what you wish to get rid of is there anything in your body that is not working properly and looking at that DNA and letting it activate down your chakra line what isn't working let's ask for the light codes to be brought in and changed maybe it's emotional or maybe it is mental and feel it crumbling now as these light codes are brought in and this priestess works on you. Breathing in light, breathing out gratitude, breathing in peace and transformation and breathing out worry. 
What are you clinging to? Let her cut it away now with her wand. Remember those cords and ties which were not of God's desire. Let's just remove them now. Just feel them crumbling. You don't need them. All you need is love and food and sustenance and shelter and if you are struggling with that ask her for those now think of those holy men who travel with mala beads a staff and an arms bowl that is all they need to survive Maybe it is that you need to do a bit of clearing out. If you haven't used that tea set in your garage, but you don't want to get rid of it, why don't you take a photograph of it and pass it on to someone who will use it? Then you still have the memory. And as these crumble down you, a new age is birthed. You now have the space in your mind, in your heart, for your new creations. And as that is drawn, I am now going to draw the chokero symbol into you. And also the Daikumyo, the Tibetan master. Daikumyo. Daikumyo. To birth your new creations and dream what you want into the world. And the priestess now steps aside and another part of your being steps forward. That warrior within you, whether you are male or female, have you answered your deepest calling? Is there something you wish to study or wish to learn? Now would be the time to do it as we've made that space. You have space to retain new information and to practice some of these things. So I'm going to draw a symbol now called courage from the Reiki Saken tradition. The courage to be the warrior that you need. And then we draw the chokarees and push them in for strength and courage. Now the warrior woman also starts cutting away things and she also uses the smoky quartz just to clear. And as these things fall away you are now unbound. Those soul contracts and patterns are released from those past lives, that strange glue that keeps us repeating. Say hey, key for clearance. Say hey, key for clearance. Say hey, key for clearance. And then we draw the zona in at the throat chapter with the infinity symbol three times pushing that in it's getting rid of those soul contracts that you made once upon a time okay breathe out and these priests and warriors tell you to trust in your path even if the sands appear to shift just trust as you walk along, planting those steps down and those wishes as you do so. And there is the doorway very close to you. You can just maybe take a little detour to go through it, but don't worry if you have to take that detour. It is all a learning curve. And as you learn and as you become more confident, you can establish those boundaries. 
remember that protection that we so often do with that candle flame at your inner being and pushing it out and up and in front and behind above and below you learn to say no very difficult are you a people pleaser it's okay to please people but not at your own detriment all of the time sometimes we have to give a little bit and bend like Rumi said like a reed in the wind but break that chain break that chain if you keep repeating those old patterns getting in too deep being drawn back to people and places and granted if it's our family it's a bit different but learn to say no If you have ancestral patterns of learnt behaviour in your life, start to break those chains. Seek the help. Be strong and seek that help that you need to. And then you will be able to answer the call to your higher self and do everything that you love to do or at least try to do and remember to keep optimistic tomorrow is another day and you will be able to align your life think what needs to change and make those baby steps you don't have to do it all in one go do you okay Send a little bit more healing into you. Strength, courage, fortitude. As well as peace, healing and tranquility. And remember all about what we've been talking about is do not dim your light to fit in. That is the overall thing. Are you dimming your light to fit in? Be proud of who you are. Be proud of your wackiness, of your, I don't know, your differences. And most importantly, take a break if you need to. A life's work is not in a season. Get off the treadmill, have a rest for a little bit, enjoy the views out of the window. And as we are at this beautiful pool in the ether, just look around and just see enjoying the scenery. There may be colors, there may be things you don't understand, but if you are looking at them now, It'll probably be healing you in some sort of way and just feel your soul family move in towards you and give you that strength and that courage and that healing. And ask them to stop you overthinking. You are probably already doing what you need to be doing. And share your voice. Come out of that cave. And if somebody is persecuting you, remember those boundaries you put up. It should be able to bounce off all those insults and not stick to your aura. You know, perhaps my mantra of if you don't like me, get out of my way will help. Not everybody will like me. (laughs) And that's all right. If we were all the same, it would be very boring and dull and we would not learn our lessons to dance with the life. So if you are feeling a bit dull, a bit bored, perhaps change it up. Do something that you would not ordinarily do take that leap, that card that we pulled out earlier, 
your guides and your helpers and your angels will help you and you will feel deep replenishment from that. Rest and be held from them. And Gabriel and Uriel have just popped into my head. So I know Gabriel helps with communication and Uriel shines that light to help you move forward and awaken. The energetic upgrades will be happening and you will enter that new way of being. Remember when you say, I can't, I won't, I don't know, cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel and delete even. You can, I will, I know. And then the card tells us to play, to have fun, to celebrate, don't be so serious, but know when you've had enough, okay? And make sure you're safe at all times, especially if you're going out and about gallivanting around town. Breathe in and breathe out. Do one thing a week that you really want to do if you can even if it is going for that walk at that spot you drive past and you keep noticing. And the ever unfolding rose of your life will be cracked open with all of these positive mindsets we've been talking about. It is happening for you, not to you. And when you do something joyous, it is a kind of initiation, a rite of passage and a crossing at the threshold. You have done something fantastic to, for yourself, even just by being here and watching this video. And the age of light is upon us. You have been training for this for many lifetimes. So now the warrior woman and the priestess will step forward and they will give you a gift and it could be absolutely anything. And another of them is going to give you a bag to sling over your shoulder to put your gift into. Breathe out and relax your body again. If you are unsure of what this gift is, you may ask these beings. Smooth the abalone ring. Over your aura. Get the heart and bring that love into you from your soul family, your monad, and the light codes from the Council of Light. And now it is time to stand up and to walk back. Your soul family and all of the angels will accompany you. And as you see that staircase again, you start to descend it and we're going to use the fossil just to start grounding you as you walk down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. You are now back in your inner temple at your heart. And I want you just to walk out of your heart and back, just give yourself a little shake. And we call in the willow tree again, just to ground you further and bring you back. And remember you are loved by your soul family and the angels and you need to work your light. Bye bye now.